Hey guys, it's James and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Clipper firmware to the Ender 3. Installing the Clipper firmware is going to be a super easy process. Let's get started with the install, but before we get started, I want you to click on this video up here. That video will show you how to install the Octoprint to the Raspberry Pi. So pause this video and come back after watching that video and installing the Raspberry Pi. Okay, thanks for coming back. Uh, once you have set up Octoprint, you want to log in and go here to the wrench. Then you want to go to Plugin Manager. Then you want to click on Get More. And then you want to type in Clipper. And you want to install this right here, the Octo Clipper. Install it. And then once you're done, you can restart. But if yours is a new build, you might not get this uh, Get More uh, icon. If you don't get this button right here, just reload it a couple of times and you'll get this get more message. Great, now that we have that working, let's move on. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Download a copy of Putty and then we're gonna log into the Raspberry Pi using Putty. You're gonna put your IP address in here. Yours is gonna be different than mine. Open connection and then <clears throat> The default username is Pi, and then the password is going to be uh, Raspberry. It's going to be Pi and Raspberry, okay? Um, next, we're going to go here to the GitHub page, and I'm going to tell you that the installation is going to be very straightforward, very easy. You're going to do a lot of copy and pasting. The difficulty is not really in the installation. I think the difficulty is going to be in the actual configuration file, and... Um, how you're gonna actually dial in the settings for your configuration to work well with the Ender 3. We're gonna go here to the GitHub page. And then basically you're gonna go here, copy. You're gonna go to putty. And you're gonna paste that command by right clicking your mouse, enter. And basically it's downloading the Clipper package to your Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to go here to the second line, basically copy, paste, again enter, and then it's going to ask you for a password. The installation process is going to take a while. Come back after like five minutes, maybe a little bit more. Grab something to eat, do something, and come back. Next, you're going to go to this uh, Clipper directory, copy it, again go to putty, paste it. And then go to the make menu config, copy, right mouse click, enter. And then it's going to take you over here. You want to change the processor model to 18Mega1284P. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and exit. Save yes. Again, we're going to go here. And then click on copy. Paste. We're going to make that configuration file. And then copy this. Copy. You're going to copy this serial ID right here. Shift, Control, and C. And then you're gonna go ahead and open a text editor like Notepad. Go ahead and paste that in there. And then you're gonna stop the Clipper service. <clears throat> paste that in there. Go back and then you're gonna copy this. And you're gonna go back to your Notepad, paste this in and then Go ahead and select your serial ID and then go ahead and paste it in here. You're going to take this whole thing, copy it, go down and then paste it in here. And then you can go ahead and restart your clipper service. Copy, paste, enter. And then you're going to copy this. 
Uh, you're gonna make a printer configuration. Go back to putty, paste this in. Select this. And then you're gonna um, edit your printer config. Then you're gonna scroll down all the way to where you find the serial port. Uh, where is the serial port? Right here. The serial microcontroller port. <clears throat> so you're just gonna delete this right here. And then go ahead and copy your serial port ID and you're gonna paste that in there. And then you're gonna exit. Yes, enter. Now I want you to copy this. Go to your Octoprint. And then go ahead to your wrench, additional ports, save. Connect. Hold on. Something's wrong. Clipper is not enabled for some reason. Let me see. Oh, we forgot to enable it right here. Just enable this right here. And go ahead and restart, proceed, save. Attempt to reconnect. And you have Octo Clipper plugin right here. And then you have the you have a clipper tab right here. And then we're just gonna connect right now. So you wanna go here and download this printer ender clipper. Just download this. Or you can go here and then just copy it. However, um, I'm going to download it so I can open it in Notepad++. Extract. Open with, so this is the configuration file. Just go ahead and copy all of it. Um, this you can leave it as like a backup copy in case you need it. Go back here to Octoprint and then click on this wrench <clears throat> then you're gonna go to Octoclipper uh, you're gonna go to the Clipper configuration and then you're just gonna replace all this file right here just delete this and then paste the uh, one you got from here the printer ender Clipper CFG and then you're gonna save the file and once you save the file, you have to go back here and then click on this one right here, firmware. You're going to reload the firmware. If you have a setup like mine with the BL Touch uh, Smart 3.1 version, congratulations. You have just completed setting up your Clipper firmware with the Ender 3. If you have any type of errors or like the printer stops for some reason because it has an error, you're going to have to reload this firmware to clear that error. Before I do that, let me just go sh show you something. <clears throat> See, uh, your config file is always saved under the printer CFG. Okay? You can enter commands on the terminal. I'm gonna turn on my printer. I'm gonna run a G28. Then I'm going to run a G29 command. So I already set it up so it does the probing on the nine spots.
Ok. And, and the printer is pretty loud. That's why I'm just going to shut it off. If you have a different printer than mine or a different setup than mine, um, you want to go here to the Kevin O'Connor forward slash clipper uh, GitHub page and you want to download. And then I've already downloaded it and actually extracted it. You want to go here to clipper config folder. And in here are the various different configurations for the different printers that are available. I'm just going to open this with notepad. As you can see, it's a configuration file with the various different uh, pins and everything available. You're going to have to just copy this and paste that into the configuration file on the Octoprint plugin. Also, another thing you want to look at is this uh, examples extras file. So I'm just going to open this with notepad. As you can see, it gives you the various uh, different types of bed and then some things that you may have to edit or add to that configuration file. If you do want to use a sensor, this is where you want to come and look. Any type of extra hardware that you may have upgraded. Again, it's going to be in the examples extras.cfg file. All you do is take a look and see what applies to your printer copy it and paste it into your printer.cfg and with every configuration file for the various printer you always have to change this right here if you remember from the clipper installation we got the serial id and path and let me just go ahead and go to my configuration file uh, some of the things that you may want to look at is like the offsets for the bl touch right here your mount might be different than mine. This mesh min is 39, 39, 191, and 91 for the max. And this is uh, what I had to uh, put in for the values in order to center the uh, mesh. And if you look at my BL touch offset, it's a negative 44. So 235 minus 44 is 191. And that's the maximum value you can use on for the bed size of 235 with the offset mount of a negative 44. If you go anywhere above this value, like 192, you're going to get an error on the printer by the third probe. Some of the plugins really don't work once you have uh, clippers installed. You really have to create your own macros. The reason is because I think Clipper is fairly more newer and an Octoprint really based their uh, framework around I think Marlin rather than Clipper. If you guys have very good uh, configuration settings for the Ender 3 that works and would like to share them, um, let me know. Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share this video. You can always leave a comment and I'm probably going to start on doing Arduino projects on this uh, channel. Yeah, so stay tuned for that if that interests you. And until next time, uh, thanks for watching.